Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to have a look at family tree DNA, which is something that I've been meaning to get around to for ages, but I don't know, I have no excuse. I don't know. So today I will go through just the basic family tree DNA family finder. So if you do a test with family tree DNA and you just do the most basic autosomal test, this is what you can expect to see. Um, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell because it really helps on my channel when you do. And let's get into the video. All right, so I have opened up FamilyTreeDNA.com and I'm going to sign in. And you know, I love these guys. On the bottom, I feel like he really stands out to me though. He looks like maybe he sat on something like wet or sticky and he's like, oh, oh, what is that? But he's still trying to sort of smile for the photo. I don't know. He doesn't. Let's just move on. So I'm going to sign in. That's my kit number there. You'll get your own kit number when you do your test. Okay, so here we are. This is the main page. You've got all of your business up the top there. This is my name and kit number and it gives you access to your settings and whatever. This stuff's self-explanatory. I don't know why I'm going over it. You guys know that you're smart. I know that people who subscribe to my channel are the smartest, so you guys get this. Um, on the left-hand side, you can see this is where you would have group projects if you're part of one. Um, I have not joined any, as you can see, but there are actually heaps of projects on there. So if you um, are interested in delving in deeper, there's definitely that. Um, badges, this is just because I've done a MT DNA test, so that won't be what I'll be talking about today, but I will do another video on that. Okay, so autosomal DNA at the top. That is the main test that um, Family Tree DNA does. I think, I thought it was called Family Finder. They might have changed the name or maybe I'm confusing it with another website. I'm sorry if I am. Um, <laughs> so that's the regular autosomal test. Underneath we have my mtDNA test. That's something extra that I did. You can um, do that or not. It's, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm rambling. Um, and then underneath we have these additional features. I personally haven't done any of them. I'm going to show you them quickly just to start off with these factoids. These are little extra, um, they're sort of interesting actually, but I'm not going to pay for them. <laughs> So yeah, it'll test whether you've got sort of a lot of these alcohol flush reaction, avoidance of errors, blah, blah, blah. Like they're kind of interesting if you wax type, like I'm not going to pay $19 to see that, but I am not above like, you know, sponsorship. So if Family Tree DNA wants to sponsor me to do these, I would be really curious to have a look at them and tell me why it is worth me paying just that little bit extra. So Shout out to Family Tree DNA if you want to sponsor a video. Um, all right, go back and yeah, other tools. This health report is something sort of similar. It's one of those like, uh, there you go, like nutrition and like lifestyle sort of exercise report. So I think what it does is tells you what would be the best things for you to be super healthy based on your genetics. I don't know how useful it's going to be, but for 49 US dollars, you can find out. Once again, shameless, you know, I'm willing to be a, what am I saying? Once again, I'm willing to be sponsored. Family Tree DNA, hit me up. Um, so at the bottom, I've got my family tree. So you can upload your own Jed, Jed Conv. <laughs> I can't even right now. You can upload your own Jed Conv file, and I haven't done mine, but that's just because I've been a bit lazy with this. I've got my trees all over the place, so I haven't really bothered here, but I actually think it would be worth it to get the most out of my matches. But yeah, I'll just show you. So it's just a regular, you know, if mine's in pedigree view, you can change it to the other sort of family view if you like. You can link your matches. So once you start looking at your matches, that could be a really useful um, tool for linking them into the tree. Um, so, all for doing the tree. I just haven't gotten around to doing mine yet. I'm just going to go back. And why are you not going back? So rude. Okay, here we are. 
Now to the brand finale, the autosomal DNA. So this is what you'll get with your regular little test. So first thing here is matches. And I'm going to have to blur that out so that you guys can't actually see because privacy and whatnot. But it'll tell you, you can see you've got the name of your match, the match date. So that would be the date that you were matched to each other. So it may be the date that you did the test or it could be the date that they did the test. And yeah, that'll be that. Relationship range, it's just estimating. It's not necessarily going to be accurate. Um, shared center Morgans and your longest block. Of course, the longest block is important because yeah, if it's just a tiny block, it's not going to be as great of a match. It'll tell you also whether you match on your X chromosome. If you're a male, that would tell you that they match on your mother's side. If you're a female, it's not going to tell you that. <laughs> um, linked relationship. This would be if you know who they are, if you figured out the relationship and you've got your family tree there, you can link them to someone in the family tree so that you can see that within your tree, how you're connected, which I think that's really cool. Ancestral surnames, that would be if people have added in surnames that they're researching that are in their tree and that can sometimes be helpful. Some people, as you can see, put theirs in. Um, okay, that's Family Finder. See, I knew it was called Family Finder. I knew it. Matches. Um, but yeah, you can assign them also to maternal and paternal and both. So that's cool. All right. My origins. This is basically the ethnicity estimate how um, Family Tree DNA does it. So my origins is their ethnicity estimate. I've got 100% Europe, duh. <laughs> um, Western Europe, England, Wales and Scotland 48%, Ireland 42%, Central Europe 11 Wait a second. 48, 42, and 11. Excuse me for living, but doesn't that add up to 101%? I mean, that would make sense though, because I feel I am that little bit sort of like extra. So, hmm, that's odd. Does, that, does anyone else have results that add up to <laughs> more than 100%? Anyway, so you can see there's a little map here and yeah, we've got the UK, Ireland, and my Central Europe section. So there's that. Compare origins will be if you want to compare your ethnicity to your matches. So you can search by the match or just look at them. Um, okay, then we have Matrix. The Matrix. Um, this is most useful really if you already know how some of your matches how they connect that um it basically compares your matches with you and each other why isn't it opening how is it slow is this i'll just show you it's not going to be anything for me though because i haven't really looked into all my matches here actually i barely looked into any of my matches here the thing with family tree dna is even though it is it is a slightly more expensive test, at least it was when I did it, but there is actually a lot more that you can get out of it. So I do recommend it if you're interested in going that little bit further, though, as you can see, I've been a little lazy. So yeah, you can scroll through your matches here and pick names out and add them. And then you can, it creates this sort of matching matrix. So basically the gist is it'll allow you to compare, you know, multiple matches and how you all interconnect. It's the matrix. All right, let's skip that one. And data download, that is just if you want to download your raw data. That's really if you want to probably upload it to another site. Chromosome browser is the bomb. That allows you to select you know some of your matches you can ch choose one or multiple and it will show you your like where you match on your chromosomes so yeah you can see these are where they match me maybe where they 
don't match each other. So one person here is the blue and one person is the red. And um, obviously they both match me, but they don't match each other, these people. So um, we've got detailed segment data. It'll tell you the exact segments where we match. Um, the chromosome browser, like, I wish that some of the other testing companies had these because they're so good. What DNA Painter does. DNA Painter is amazing. I made a video about that. I will link it above. So yeah, the chromosome browser just allows you to compare, like, where on your chromosomes you match. And that can also allow you to compare how some of your matches match each other. Like, if you've got one person and you know how they, where they sort of fit on your chromosomes and then you put another match and they fit in the same little slot, you'll know that you're all connected through the same ancestor. Does that make sense? If you are interested, definitely go and watch my video on DNA Painter. But it is amazing that Family Tree DNA actually has a chromosome browser here that you can use. A lot of the other testing companies don't have a chromosome browser. So that is very cool of them. Okay, ancient origins. This one is like an ancient DNA thing. This is European, so if you've got European DNA, that's going to be of more interest to you, maybe. This is just for fun, like it's not really going to probably help your research or anything, but um, it divides into metal age invader, farmer, hunter gatherer, and non European. So, being that it's a fairly European based test, this one, if you're not European, non-european um but yeah mine came back pretty much hunter gatherer farmer 50 50 almost and just a bit of that metal age invader as well it's just interesting if you're interested in like the ancient history sort of thing there advanced matches it just gives you that little bit more flexibility if you want to do something fancy you can have a look at sort of so Family Find is the one that I'm talking about today, but if you've done your mtDNA, you'll be able to also um, break down into mtDNA matches, or you could just look at X matches or whatever you want to do here. You can look up certain people, you can run a report. It's, yeah, so there's that. Learn more. I'm not really going to look. Let me open it up for you. There you go. There's a little information on everything, but I think I've given you a pretty good rundown. I mean, this probably wasn't the most exciting video of all time, but if you've never tested with Family Tree DNA and you just wanted to see what it would look like inside, I thought that would be useful. Um, to get the most out of it, really, I would recommend that you upload your Family Tree, GEDCOM, to the... Here we go, My Family Tree. I suggest that you would do that. And then you could really start to break down your matches and you could use the chromosome browser to do that as well. So combining those sort of tools, your family tree, and then you can um, link your matches. So back when we had the matches, once your family tree is in there, you can link the relationships. So when I click on that linked relationship, it's going to take me to my tree. So seems I haven't built one that's going to be useless but if you've got your tree in there you can then go and find that person and link that and yeah combining those the tree plus the chromosome browser and your matches is yeah that's I think pretty much the ultimate I think you know even though ancestry DNA is probably like the biggest and you know my heritage is fairly big too and living DNA um I think that family tree DNA ha actually has like all of the best elements from any of those sites and they've put them all together it's just that it's I guess one that people tend to use less but I don't know why because it's actually probably the best one all right I'm gonna end this video because I am waffling at this point so I hope you enjoyed just having a quick look at Family Tree DNA and let me know in the comments if you've tested with Family Tree DNA and have you used all of those extra features and gotten the most out of it and yeah, how did you find it? Please let me know and so yeah, happy researching, enjoy, put any questions or comments below, live your dreams, I love you.